Fuck a bag, I need a bank, bitch. Fuck a bag, I need a bank, bitch. All right, some man I've been wanting to talk about for a minute. That's boxing. Okay. You know, I was kind of waiting for a uh, moment where they had a dead time with basketball and football. And I think now is the perfect time to talk about what used to be right. arguably the most popular sport in the country. Right. It was up there with baseball. I know baseball, America's pastime. You know, right now, football is everything. Basketball is taking off as the global game. It's a great space. But I still say the purest form of sport is the hand. A popular opinion by, by many, but you're right. The hand, cuz, get the hand. You're right. Every man, I always say it, every man in the world need to be prepared to whoop somebody's ass. And we've always loved going through generations to talk the fight game, man. You can go back to them old heads, they gonna tell you about Joe Lewis. Uh, you go back to the guy out of the 60s and 70s, they got their Ali Frazier stories and stuff like that. You come on up to them cats, they call themselves popping in the 80s, 90s, they gonna tell you about Tyson. You come on up now and you get to talk to the smaller guys, Mayweather and all that kind of stuff. I'm um, skipping Roy Jones. Like, the fight game, man, you might not know everybody, but there was the fun. most notable guy, you know, yeah. me and me talking about, man. So, what you think got to be done to bring the fight game back to what it used to be, to the point where we can have, we still have old barbershop arguments, we still have debates, like we do here about basketball and football, right. and they get heated about Bron and Mike. They get heated about uh, the Cowboys. They get heated about Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers. But that scene all coming to America where they got heated about Joe who to go? Joe, Joe Lewis, Rock Mazzano, and Muhammad Ali and Mike Tyson. What has to happen for boxing to get back to that kind of prominence? They gotta make it free. And they got to make the biggest fights free. I agree with that. And, totally agree with and, that. And, and people will put, you can get all the corporations, companies, whatever, to buy in like a Super Bowl. But it, but you, the people need something free. You gouge America all year long with stuff. They gouge us for everything. And to me, I still think them boxers can still get paid well. But they need to put the big marquee names on TV, 12. I mean, they're giving it to us now with the major championship belt changer fights because what that creates is a, it's just like what our parents saw with the Ali's and stuff like that. When they yeah. saw those belts changing hands, they saw the, 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 the lore, the, the crowd, people, the, mm -hmm. the celebrities in the crowd watching the fight, all this stuff. And they go, oh man, boxing is for real. Mm -hmm. and, and then we, it would get men and women back into it. Mm -hmm. My wife hated Mayweather. She couldn't stand Mayweather. Right. Hates, hates Mayweather. Mm -hmm. But I could afford to pay for the Mayweather fight mm -hmm. so she could see how much she really, I, I could see how much she dislikes it, mm -hmm. you know? And that would draw up so much. And women love us, good scrap. Say that box is good looking, or whatever. And he kicking ass in the ring. Mm -hmm. They gonna love that dude. Man, they I love a good scrap. My mama talking about Muhammad Ali, and as much as I love Muhammad Ali, like I, I told my mama, my, my Ali might be arguably the greatest human ever. Goddamn it, right? Cause Dr. King was a bad motherfucker. Right. Dr. King ain't had no right hand lead on his ass. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So right. Dr. Dr. Ali did the civil rights. He had poetry, he had a career lead with hands on and knock your motherfucking ass out. But as much as I love Ali, my mama didn't like his ass. <laughs> the mouth. Shit. The the mouth. My yeah. mama would say, Muhammad Ali, he just talked too much, too hairy. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's my wife. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. It's too much. Yeah. And she swear something, she watched the fight. Like you talking about. You just turn on the fight, she watched the fight, she swear he lost on the cards. She, you can't tell her that he didn't lose it, whatever fight she's talking about. But I'm just talking about the accessibility of it. Mm -hmm. Just turn it on. Mm -hmm. Just like we can go turn on the NBA Finals, mm -hmm. turn on the uh, Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. You turn on the championship fight. You give the people Wilder versus Joshua. 
on TV. Or, or Wilder versus Fury. But give me Wilder versus Joshua, because that's, that's the one of the most talked about. You give me that on TV for free. Mm -hmm. I just find out what the numbers look like. Build it up, do everything to it, mm -hmm. make it make it what, you know, you could you could build it up any way you want to build it up. Mm -hmm. And then just see what happens, viewership wise. Mm -hmm. On a, in a dead period like this right now where you have no ball, you have no basketball, you have no football, mm -hmm. give me that fight and let's just see what happens. Now a lot of people say what hurt the fight game was the decline of the American heavyweights. Okay. Because they argue, and I kind of agree with this, that you got you had so many guys that could be heavyweight champion that went on to play either basketball or especially football. But if you ain't been keeping up, you need to watch the heavyweight division right now. The heavyweight division is Bad, y'all. We talking Anthony Joshua. We know he just got knocked off, but that was intriguing. Yeah. That was an upset that folks didn't see coming. Yeah. You got Deontay Wilder. He's right from America, out of Alabama, right? Alabama. Alabama boy. And he got a mean ass right here. He would put your motherfucking ass down. You feel me? You got Tyson Fury out of Britain, if I'm not mistaken. <sighs> yeah, I think so. I think so. Uh, but he's intriguing. Yeah. He's intriguing cat. This brother here had addiction problems. He had depression problems. That man didn't want to live no more. And he didn't bounce back from that. And he got his life together. And his bag boxing. Maybe and better than that. Imagine if you marketed that. That's a thing. That's a story. That's, like. that's, that's what people want to see. They want to see that guy that come from, that built himself back into being this top come tier on, man. heavyweight. That could inspire somebody. You know, but you don't get it. You don't get it. If you ain't got ESPN or... And now ESPN wants to make you pay for the, you know, buy the plus package so you can get the big fights. Yeah, yeah. like you sold me on, you sell me on the store, but then I want to see the fight. Mm -hmm. And I got to pay to see the fight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. And that, what the fuck? That's my, that's my biggest, that's my biggest gripe. That's my biggest gripe. I remember when Tyson fights were about $50, I think it was, pay-per-view. 50 I think it was about 50 40 50. Now they're upwards of 80. Yep. Then that's if you want it in 4K HD. Yeah. Not stand to death. Your boy Floyd charged me a hundred. Yeah, you beat. He, he charged you for the Pacquiao fight. Pacquiao fight. Yeah. Now, see, that's the type of shit. And I, and I love boxing, so I bought it. But you ain't gonna get it. I mean, he, and he had, uh, they made stupid money on that. Mm -hmm. But that ain't no consistent model. I just don't see that as a consistent model. No. I think they can make some money. Do you think the spontaneity of the end of the fight is what kind of keeps advertisers away from it? Because, okay, you might say, you might have bought this much advertising time on this fight. Mm -hmm. The fight is scheduled, this championship fight is scheduled for 12 rounds. Mm -hmm. But Deontay Wilder come here and knock this some bitch out in the first round. Now you done wasted advertising dollars. Yeah. But it got to be somewhere they can figure that out. Maybe they can give me a refund on it up. They, they got to do something. They can figure that out. But I'm thinking that's probably something that's holding them back. Because at least with the Super Bowl, with the NBA Finals, you know, okay, I got a four day minute game. This game really going to last about three hours. Football, 60 minute game, is really going to last about three hours. You got the TV timeouts and all this kind of bullshit. You ain't really got that in the box. But they, but see, they still but see, okay, like, like remember the year, remember when, uh, was it? Remember when, I think we was at the house together and Pacquiao fought, I'm trying to remember who it was, but remember he was watching the playoffs before he come out. Brad, Timothy Brad. Mm -hmm. And they took so long before they brought, they, they made, they had that match because the undercards went by kind of quick. They, you know, you had to wait like 45 minutes on Pacquiao to finish watching the Celtics play. And then he, I think that was the night he lost that fight to Bradley. Mm -hmm. But I've seen where multiple times the networks, Showtime and HBO, when they used to have boxing, they don't have it no more, would delay, talk about uh, Deontay, and tell you some stuff about it, how he, you know, lead up to the fight. Give you that, uh, 
the thing Showtime does now, the 24 7. So you think in that time, maybe they can work in their ass they can work and shit? In stuff like that. Okay, yeah. yeah. Do that, build it up. Folks can go get them something to eat, something to drink, whatever, whatever. They just gotta have time to run them ads. Just get yeah, Because that's why the Super Bowl makes so much money. Run the ads. Because y'all, we finna be somewhere sitting down watching that shit. Yeah. And they know right they're gonna be able to the they they're gonna be able to show all right the damn advertising. Right Run the fortify. Run right the fortify. You know, in between stuff. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, after the the best fight, the best undercard fight they got, run some ads. Then okay, you come back, give us some build up, talk it up, give us you know, cause Wilder's charismatic, his personality will draw you in. You sit there and watch that dude talk noise, talk crazy. Then you give you some more ads. Give me a fight with the clamp down clock. You know, got 20 minutes until. Have a sponsor on that. Do all sponsoring this sponsor. They got to just put these sponsors there. Yeah. All over the damn trunks. Yeah. Put it on the gloves. Put it in the ring. Now, they do this already. That's we right. see Budweiser in the ring That's or right. Corona because they really started yeah. to market to our Hispanic tate. brothers and something. You know what I'm saying? Tate, the but they got to do something. They just gotta give me Shout out to Al Heyman. Oh yeah. The man you never see. Al Heyman. If y'all don't know who Al Heyman is, the man you never Google him. This motherfucker is about his money. The man He's a shadowy see. figure in boxing who really like the king of boxing. He really also done king shit. He's the one that started the PBC really coming back and us getting some good fights on regular TV. We're getting some good fights and they some of them be championship fights. But we saying we want when Deontay Wilder fights Tyson Fury for the second time. That shit ought to be on NBC or ABC or CBS or something like that. Big deal. That's gonna be a mega fight. Big money. You do stuff like that, boxing will be back. Yep. I'm telling you. And these kids will buy into it because they like MMA. They like fights. They like fights. They like fights. Like fight. Shit. They world star fights. Look, I'm a former guy. I'm a former teacher and coach. Let somebody in that school say, they fighting. Folks hollering at you. Know, they run. Cameras coming out. Yeah. We getting fights for free from people we don't know. <laughs> Go on, like you said, world star. Uh, all these folks. It's folks that's making Twitter pages yeah. and Instagram feeds dedicated to fights. Street fights. Yeah. So come on, and them dudes ain't doing no choke holes and all that shit. They getting in these hands. Yep. Well, these boys are the greatest in the world of getting in these hands. They getting up running six miles a day. They doing a thousand sit-ups. They got them boxing. They doing all that shit. They getting it right. Yep. We want to see them. Yep. On regular network television. Big deal. Bring back boxing. Be